All right, so in this video, I'm going to cover sign up, auto login, and redirection. In case uh, any one of you want to know about logging based redirection, then you can come to my uh, channel, search for login, and this is the video you want to look at. This is where I cover post login page redirections based on user roles, and this is all done programmatically, right? So now let's get back to sign up. And before we get started here, let's go to a diagram where we get a little bit more details. So basically what we're gonna cover first is that user comes in through the usual sign up page. And as soon as they finish signing up, we automatically log them in and do a page redirection to our uh, to a page of our choosing. But later, we're gonna take a rather complicated route where the, this auto login will happen at sign up, but the page redirection will happen based on the origin of the page where the user is coming from. Basically, when a user comes in from a straight channel, goes to the sign up page, we just log them in and target to a user profile page. But when they come from a specific page, let's say a marketing page or a landing page, something like that, in this case, we're not gonna be all that fancy. We're gonna just uh, go with this basic uh, page template. So from there, if, when they come to the sign up page, we're gonna keep track of their movement. And once they sign up and we auto log them in, Based on their page origin, we're going to go ahead and redirect them to another page of our choosing. So let's get started here. And this is a gravity form based registration page where uh, when user signs up, a user gets created in the WordPress backend. We're going to use this time user, user 10, last name cookie, and we're going to go ahead and give it a 10 and use the password. Okay. So now let's register and this is what happened right now after registration this you know the gravity form it, it redirects them straight to a logging page so that they can log in and find out their user got created right which can be pretty annoying when you are trying to sign up and uh, eager to go into the system right so so at this point what we're going to go back to the code okay so in here we are actually at the theme level right here. Okay, these are the functions. Of the, okay, see our theme is selfless windows and we are at the functions page. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a snippet of code. All right, this guy right here. So this is going to be our function and which will be attached to an action, action hook called user register, right? And this is, uh, this is the function that we are calling with that registration hook. And what this registration hook does is it comes with an, with an argument, which is the user ID. And this user ID is the registered, recently registered user ID, right? So as soon as this registration hook kicks in, it generates a user ID, which just got created. Then we take that ID and using these two functions, one is WP set current user and we pass that ID. That way the current user or recently logged in user becomes that user. And then we set the authentication cookie based on that user ID. So once that happens, we are automatically logging the user in. Now comes the part where we redirect the user wherever we want. So in here, seeing that it's a home URL, but we're gonna change that. We're going to bring in a separate page URL here. And we're gonna go ahead and comment it out. So this time what we want is once they are logged in, we're going to go ahead and push them into towards a custom page, which is the customer profile, right? So they know they have been just signed in and logged in to the system. So let's try it out. Let's go with the user 
actually we have to refresh first so now let's uh, try to use a new user user 11 and change this one to 11 and easy password okay and now let's see what happens when we try to join boom there you go we now just signed up and auto logged in and redirected to the user profile that we just now created all right so that concludes the first part now let's go to the second part where we're going to bring in the user from a specific page to the sign up page and then once they sign up we're going to auto log them in and this time we're going to redirect them towards a separate page not the original user profile page okay so last time we just logged in auto logged in the uh, this specific user and redirected them to this profile page right so next time what we're going to do we're going to bring in the user from a specific page and then redirect them to this page this data entry page see this is the data entry page and if i click here this is the profile page right now let's uh, log out and see which source we're going to be coming in from so this being the home page we're logged out so this is a test page that I created. I mean, this could be landing page or any other marketing page, right? So in here, we're not going to do anything with the form. It just uh, right now it's just sitting there for cosmetic purposes. But what's important here is that this guy right here. From this guy, we're going to go ahead. Uh, I mean, this is an you know Ajax button. Once this is clicked we're going to redirect the user to this join page. And this is where the user is, is going to sign up. But in the process, we're going to be writing a cookie as according to the uh, page source, right? So let's go ahead and start up a Google Dev window. And this is where we're going to go ahead and go to application and uh under the cookies right this is where we're going to highlight to make sure our cookie is being created now let's go to the code so in here i have a very basic uh page template which actually represents this guy right here i mean like i said i'm not really doing anything with the forms right now but this is where everything is happening the button and as you can see here, the button has a data dash origin fake list page. I mean, this is the page name I'm providing through the button. So as soon as this button is clicked, this JavaScript gets launched. And in here, uh, it's going to perform some Ajax stuff. So, and I'm actually collecting the Ajax URL and the function name i'm hard coding it right here and the this is actually coming from script localization uh, if we go back in here under functions we will find script setup and in here i'm actually setting up the actual you know the main js file and with this id i am localizing the script basically with a variable self list data and in here i am providing some global variables like url root url ajax url nonce etc etc whatever i need right and that's where my javascript is pulling the ajax url from and i am providing my ajax php function name through here which is this one and since this is an ajax php so i'm going to be you and and we are uh enabling them for all users like logged in versus non-logged in so that's why the add action wp ajax no priv and wp ajax both both of these prefixes are added and this function name provided and this is the php function that we're going to be calling which is very simple it is go going to go ahead and collect the origin page name from the JavaScript right here. 
and let's go through this JavaScript first. I mean, as we know, we will cover this Ajax stuff later. Initially, what's happening is like uh, I'm declaring a button, and you know, according to the ID, which is this this button's ID, and setting an event, which is a click event, and uh, calling a callback function click handler. In here, I'm declaring a variable which is collecting that data variable, the origin, which is coming from this template right here, the data origin, fake list page. So once this is collected, then I'm calling in the jQuery Ajax function. Here I'm providing that Ajax URL, which is coming from right here. And then type is post and through the data variable, I'm giving it an action, which is this dot Ajax function, which we'll be calling this function. And then the data would be this page origin name, button dot data origin, which is once again coming from data dash origin, the uh, data attribute on the uh, theme file. And once we ha have all those, we are making an Ajax call. And this is where this function is being called and this function now collecting the variable the page origin data via the you know the dollar underscore post function and then as soon as we're collecting it here i'm giving it a uh, you know hard coded a cookie name origin page and as the value i'm providing that new post data which is origin page here and i am setting a cookie and this is all it takes to set up a cookie, you know, cookie name, the value, and the time. In here, the current time plus, uh, these are the hours in a day. So I'm multiplying it by on one. I mean, I'm just keeping the option open. So basically, if, it, if I have to change it to three day, four day, seven day, all I have to do is change this number, and the cookie will remain valid for that many days. And then comes the must function that be that must be called at the end of every single ajax function which is wp die so that this uh, functionality gets cut off or finished so that once again javascript can take over via ajax and in here i'm just simply doing nothing i'm just uh, console logging it but what is eventually happening under the always sending the user to the sign up page it's a very simple one uh, you know, just an Ajax functionality, but the most important part to look at is that we are creating a cookie according to the this variable. Like uh, this will be our the name of our cookie origin page, and the value will be whatever we collect from the button via this JavaScript, which would be in this case fake list page because this is what the button holds and this is what javascript is collecting so now let's go test it out so keep an eye out here uh, as soon as i click this button let me just uh, do a refresh okay so now if i click on it All right, so it, we get successfully redirected to the sign-up page, and at the same time, we can see our cookie right here. Origin page, fake list page. So now, now what we're going to go ahead and implement our main function, which is the which will give us the sign-up auto login and redirection based on cookie. Right? It's pretty much an augmented version of the one we had before. Let me bring that in. All right. So basically, it's uh, you know nothing to be uh, worried about. Oh, one thing though, uh, just for this uh, this function to work with Ajax uh, in our functions file, we actually enabled it right here. This is a very important uh, point. People you know forget. Like once you are setting up your Ajax, you must require that in your functions file right here. Uh, make cookie and redirect Ajax. We loading it up, and that's why it worked with our Ajax uh, JavaScript. So now, let's look at it. So this is basically uh, the same function that we 
called in last time when we were doing the auto login. So user register is the action hook. Auto login new user is our main function. Uh, and as you, if you remember, this is exactly what we were doing to auto log the user in. And then we were calling this WP redirect to send them to customer homepage. In this case, we are first declaring a variable called, you know, the page origin. I mean, since I already know from my, uh, what my cookie's name is gonna be. So this is what I'm providing here. And then it's gonna go ahead and check the system if there is a cookie by that name available. So if, if there is a cookie by that name available, it's gonna go ahead and uh, populate this variable, redirect target, because According to that cookie, we're going to know which page the user should be redirected to. And as soon as that happens, we are going ahead and removing the cookie because that cookies function is over. That's done. As soon as we are you know, logged in and collected that information, that cookie can go away. Right? Otherwise, it's going to cause all sorts of issues. You know, some other users coming from another direction might, you know, end up collecting, you know, picking up on that. So we're going to remove this using unset the cookie name and then set the cookie time to negative 3600, which is a one hour before. This is the way we properly destroy a cookie. So once that happens, now the same thing we used before. Uh, WP set current user, which uh, is giving us the currently signed up user as an argument coming from user register hook. And then we are also setting this set auth cookie according to that user so that the session turned into this person's login session. So once that happens, this is where we go ahead and check for that redirect target, which we just collected here from the cookie. And then according to that, we just make sure the value is fake list page because we know that uh, we're looking for this value, right? Fake list page. So once we get that, we just now you, you know use that to redirect the user to list insert insert page that we showed before instead of the customer home, which is the profile page. And whenever this cookie, this data is missing or the cookie is missing, the regular users are gonna go ahead, go ahead and be redirected to their regular customer profile. So now let's go test it out. Save this. And let's go test this out. Now we have our cookie present, right? So now let's uh, refresh it once more. And we see our cookie is still there. So now let's go type in a username, which would be 12 cookie. And in here, user 12 and a password. All right. So now let's see where this person ends up. And also keep an eye out here. What happens to that cookie? Boom. There you go. We are nicely redirected, actually signed up, and then auto logged in and redirected to the destination, which is the data insert page or list insert page. And at the same time, our cookie got vanished. So now if we exit out and let's go back to the join page and use another login, who will not go through that test list page, right? Who will just coming directly to the sign up, who is user 13. And in here, we change the email, password. And now let's see where this person goes. And keep an eye that there's no cookie present that we've created, right? So let's click on it. And boom, now they're auto logged in, signed up, auto logged in, and redirected to the user profile page. And that's all for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button and the subscribe button. This will help me bring more free contents like this 
to you every week. Thanks again.